while fasting, if a husband kisses the wife or hugs the wife or shows his love for the wife by kissing on the cheek or the lip or the hand or hugs or embraces, all these things are permissible as long as it does not encourage him to go into an act which is haram for fasting. And this is very well stated in the Hadith of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number 3, in the book of fasting, Hadith number 1927, that Aisha may Allah be pleased with her. She says that the Prophet used to kiss and embrace his wives while fasting. But he was the best amongst you to control himself. That means the Prophet had the power to control. Similarly, it's mentioned in Sunnah Abu Daud, volume number 2, hadith number 2379, that Umar Mellah be with him. Once, while he's fasting, kisses his wife. Immediately, he feels sorry and he goes to the Prophet. And he says that, O oh Prophet, I have sinned. I have sinned against you and Allah. So the Prophet says, that, What have you done? He says, that while fasting, I've kissed my wife. So the Prophet asks him, that when you gargle or rinse your mouth while doing wudu, does your fast break? So Umar Malawi pleases him. He said, no. So why bother? Indicating to him that you can kiss and embrace your wife. Furthermore, there's a hadith, which is mentioned in Musnad Ahmad, volume number two, hadith number 6739, one of the Sahaba, he narrates that a young man comes to Prophet Muhammad and asks him that can I kiss my wife while I'm fasting? The Prophet says no. Later on, an old man comes to the Prophet and asks him that can I kiss my wife while fasting? And the Prophet says yes. So the Sahaba look amongst themselves that how come the answer is differing? Then the Prophet replies that this man can control himself. So the basic ruling is that if a person knows that he can control himself after kissing or hugging his wife and is sure that it will not lead into an act which will nullify the fast, for example, it will not lead into a sexual intercourse or will not lead into ejaculation, as long as he can control himself, kissing and hugging is permitted. If he cannot control himself and he fears that he will go into that which will nullify the fast, like intercourse or ejaculation, then it is prohibited for him. Hmm. Previously, when fasting became fard for the Muslims, as Allah says in the Quran in Surah Bakra, chapter 2, verse number 85, that Ramadan is the month in which the Quran was revealed as a guide for humankind and giving you signs of guidance and judgment between right and wrong. And then it says that so whoever witnesses this month, he should fast. So when it became fard for the Muslim the first time initially, the full month of Ramadan, at that time, it was the law that approaching your wives, having a sexual intercourse with your wife for the full month of Ramadan, whether it be day or night was prohibited. And it's mentioned in the tafsir of Al-Qurtubi, volume number two, page number 210, that Omar may Allah be pleased with him, once he spends a little bit of time with the Prophet and leaves the Prophet at night and comes to his house and when he reaches the house he has the urge to sleep with his wife and he has intercourse when he gets up in the morning he is ashamed and he goes to the Prophet and says that I have sinned against Allah and you so the Prophet says why? because I slept with my wife my soul urged and went towards my wife and I slept with her and had intercourse with her Prophet said, did you really do that? Hazrat Umar Malai pleased him said, yes. And Hazrat Umar says that, can you find a pardon for me? And then Prophet Muhammad says, no one besides Allah can pardon you. He is the only one who can show you the way. And immediately the verse of the Quran of Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 187 was revealed. It says that you can approach your wives during the nights of the fast. Hunna libasul lakum. Because they are your garments and you are their garments. And then the verse continues that 
and Allah knows what you used to do secretly in the nights with your wives. But Allah has forgiven you. And from now onwards, you can approach your wives. And you can take what Allah gives you, the offspring from them. And you can eat and drink till the white thread of dawn is distinct from the black thread. And then you can fast until sunset, until night falls. So when this verse was revealed, Surah Bakra, chapter 2, verse number 187, then it became lawful for the Muslims to approach their wives during the nights of the fast. So now, as far as the present rule is, that you cannot approach your wives, have a sexual intercourse with them during the day, right from the break of dawn, from the time of Fajr Salah up to sunset. But immediately after sunset, up to just before the break of dawn, your Fajr Salah, you can approach your wife and it's lawful and you can have a relationship with them.